So this one is a requested question. Um, so let's do that. It's part B. So Nima takes a suitcase with a mass of 15.5 kg, correct, to the nearest 0.5 kg. So basically, when they tell you correct to some mass, it means the mass is, is not exact. They measured and they make sure that it was correct to 0.5 kg. Okay, that's the first part. She also takes six packets with each mass, 1.2 kg, correct to 0.1 kg. So the mass is again not exact. They round up to 0.1 kg. Now the question is, she has a luggage limit of exactly 23 kg for the flight. So this one is exact. There's no correct to anything. This one is a limit for her flight, 23 kg. Now question, can Nima be certain that the mass of her luggage is below the limit? So the key word here is certain. What does certain mean? Certain means she needs to be 100% sure that her mass, the mass of her luggage is below the limit. She must be 100% sure. So let's first write down those values. So let's find the upper and lower bound on this one. So you will have 15 0.5 plus minus 0.5 so up down so 0.5 divided by 2 actually divided by 2 so what is 0.5 divided by 2 that will be 0.25 right so now we have to do 15.5 plus 0.25 you have 15.75 for the upper bound and lower bound will be 15.25 Okay, that's for the luggage. Now, for the uh, for each of the packets, so for one packet, the mass is 1.2 kg plus minus 0 0.1 over 2. Let's do that. So let's find out. So here we have 0 0.1 divided by 2. Now we have 1.25 for the max for the upper bound, and 1.2 one five for the lower bound as for one packet so now you have to find the the total mass total mass of um, of this one so total mass so the first one is we have mass of this one so as you can see we have upper and lower bound for each mass so what is the upper bound and lower bound for the total mass so first one Let's take the max value and the max value. It will be 15.75, that's for the luggage, plus 1.25 times 6. Why times 6? Because she has 6 packets. This was for only 1. So that will be the upper bound. So 23.25. Now what is the lower bound? You take the lower value. So 15.25. 15 plus 6 times 1.15. Lower bound will be 22.15. This is the max, the upper bound, and this is the minimum, which is the lower bound of the total mass. So now, based on these um, values, she has to be making a, make a, a decision. Can she be certain that the mass is below the limit? What is the limit? The limit is equal to 23 kg now what the question is trying to say is that as you can see the total mass is between 22.15 to 23.25 including those values as well so what the question is trying to say is that if you were to pick a number between those two numbers or these numbers itself can you guarantee that the number is below 23 so now if we take this number, you say, okay, let's take this one. This one, yes, it is below 23. It will be good. But what happens if you pick some number here? What happens if you pick 23.1? So it will not be below, right? So the main question here is, if you were able to choose any number in this range, can you guarantee that number is below 23? As you can see, this one it is, but this one it is not. So let's say we'll pick another one. We'll pick one number here. It will be 22, that is okay. But what happens if you pick one here, which is 23.2, so it will not. In that case, 
this word here plays a key role it means that you cannot guarantee that it will be below because as you can see we have these values that goes above the limit so that's why you say you cannot guarantee because the max weight is above because uh, the weight can go above or the mass can go above 23 that's why you cannot be, uh, be certain the only confusion that we have is what if the question was asking um, can the luggage be below so if that was the question then your answer will be yes can the luggage be below is different from certain it is 100 percent sure that's why this one will be no the weight can go above 23 that's why she cannot be certain that it will be um, going to be below 23 that's the reason why well i hope that was somewhat helpful in making uh, this decision so um, and of course if you have any other questions uh, let me know in the comments how we get back to you as well